Let's jump right back into the fray. I don't know why Terran is so common in these, but in the bottom right, it is spawning in the red. Nichols. And in the top left, it is Lieutenant Boz making a depot directly in front of his command center. I mean, if you're going to make a depot, you might as well make it in an aesthetically pleasing location. At least he's making a depot. So we'll have to see a Terran versus Terran. And while it might be a mere matchup, there can always be um, variety in every mere matchup. And uh, Terran versus Terran is definitely high up on that list. We do see an SCV coming out, I believe, to scout from Lieutenant Boz. On the other side, we have something resembling a wall from Nichols. A second gas as well. That's a bold move. Uh, he's going to go for those tech-oriented plays. Is this SCV clicked into the main? It looks like it is. It's going to get a scout off. Lieutenant Boz is a bit more exposed uh, without that wall in. But it does not look like Nichols has any scouting intention. So we're going to have to find out. We look at the APMs. Both these players rocking out at almost one action per second. Uh, it looks like Nichols had to take a uh, quick breather there and then get back into the action. All right. The SCV gets a scout. Going to work on its counterpart, but in the red. Will the SCVs come to save it? Will first blood be drawn and the 200 minerals be gathered? It looks like they will watch on as he has murdered in cold blood. By the fusion cutters, a painful way to go as well. But it does look like that SCV will be avenged by the Marine if this... So, during all of this, Lieutenant Boz managed to bank up nearly 400 minerals. So his uh, attention was obviously uh, somewhere else during all of this. But we will have to see. Uh, attack lab first as well. Both these players, neither really going for the... Oh, we do have an orbital command out of Lieutenant Boz. Queuing up five SCVs at a time. All right, he's planning ahead for the future. He's running a uh, running a bit of a deficit there. Um, deficit spending, not really the greatest way to go in the Dominion, but uh, you work with what you got. Lieutenant Boz is expanding as well. On the other side, we see a starport from Nichols. He's got tech labs for everything, which... Okay, uh, is all I can really say about that. There's another tech lab. I, honestly, I'm not entirely sure either of these players know what a reactor is. Um, so we'll have to find out. Another SCV comes down. Are you going to build a bunker or... No, no, no. Don't go for a third. You greedy motherfucker. I don't... Well, that's a bold move, Lieutenant Boss. See if it works out for you. We'll see if uh, Nichols has any aggressive intentions. So he gets the scout. He sees his opponent is on one base and says, All right, time to expand. All right. Nichols, still no orbital yet, but he is slowly building up an army that could be considered strong. Uh, of course, it all comes down to the execution. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have Stim. And if he's very lucky, he will have Stim for his three to five bio units by the time it finishes. So those are going to be the elite squad there. We got some more tanks on the way. I'm not entirely... Okay, he does know what rally points are. Marauders are on the way. He's suffering from a severe lack of anti-air. But thankfully for him, Lieutenant Boz and going for the three command centers has delayed his starport significantly. All right, the third base is nearly completed. Engineering Bay is on the way. Nichols still building up his forces. Lieutenant Boz is still building up a, a pretty massive economy. Three bases will do that. He only has the one orbital. I think he's kind of forgot about building orbitals in general. He's queued up a, a second barracks behind this. Um... One at a time, all right? One at a time. Let's not... Let's not you don't want that culture shock coming in. But the double drop is coming towards the main, and this is looking quite strong here. There are two tanks, but they are completely out of position. A single Marine goes out to scout, but it is far too little and far too late. 
Nichols continuing to produce back at home. He's building plus one uh, infantry weapons for his limited infantry units. We've got another NG Bay. We're going to go for the uh, double NG Bay. He moves his SCVs away. Great reaction time. The tanks will siege one at a time. He's going to come back to defend. Uh, these NG Bays are not long for this world, I guarantee you. The Marauders are going for the factory as well. Here come the tanks back to defend. Lieutenant Boz is forced to abandon his initial base. Good thing he has two more where that came from. The engineering bays go down. The Marauders starting to put their Punisher grenades onto the siege tanks. He's going to drop on top. Unfortunately, there are already Marines. There are SCVs coming off the line, but he takes out one tank. Will he target down the other? He does. Beautiful micro here. Out of Nichols, the SCVs look on angrily and now finally put their money where their fusion cutters are. Ooh. The siege tanks are moving forward. Lieutenant Boz is forced to evacuate from his main very early into the game. He actually really doesn't have it. He's building a Liberator. I'm not sure if the Starport is going to make it any further, but uh, he's already gone into Refugee Terran mode. Um, the SCVs are coming off the line. The citizens arrest here. He's, he's pinning the siege tanks up against. Will he pick up and drop away? Beautiful micro. I. He's going to kill a lot of SCVs. The tanks are just having a field day with this one. There goes the Marauder, cut down by the fusion cutters. Both tanks will fall. So the SCVs, the, the militia, hold strong for, for now. The neighborhood watch will uh, cut through the attack of Nichols, who is now banking up 1,600 minerals and 600 gas for a rainy day. He had no backup plan. He had no follow-up strategy. It was all or nothing, and it's looking a lot closer to nothing as Lieutenant Boz... Holds on. A single liberator representing the freedom from tyranny these SCVs have just created for themselves. Their bravery, their sacrifice will not go unremembered. Never forget the tank push of six minutes. Never forget the SCVs who were lost. The working men and robots who make up the Terran army, who drive the economy, the infrastructure. They will make Terran great again. Vote SCV-2666. All right, the, the Liberator actually going to stand guard as he's continuing to build off his three bases. 24 to 23 SCVs. 18 have gone down. More medevacs back at home. He did escape with the initial ones. Nichols is still going down the one base route. Uh, besides the command center, he's building in his main. It's like 26-something in StarCraft. I, I don't know exactly what the lore is. Is it 25th? Like 25-something or 26-something? I, I don't know exactly. But, um, round one was dangerous, but round two is going to be even more strong. As he's going to have plus one. Stim is completed. He's got four medevacs as well, but Lieutenant Boz, his TPM is starting to race, but he can't cover all of these bases. What does Nichols know about? He doesn't know about the third, but he knows that there are plenty of command centers on the field. All right, he moves forward. There's only a single tank to really respond. The army supply is in favor of Nichols, but a lot of that is in medevacs, remember? The TPM not going to help him for now. Another assault! As once again, Nichols invades the sovereign territory of Lieutenant Boss. And this time, three tanks, plenty of marauders, and a lot of medevacs. Lieutenant Boss has amassed something of a defense. He's put together something of a military, but he's going to have to give up this location. Once again, in refugee Terran mode. There will be a drop on the high ground. Nichols, once again... Tunnel vision, he's got 50, both players with 1,500 minerals. Is there stim done? There is no stim here for these bio units. There is a Viking. These Marines will be obliterated. And another base will be lifted. He's getting quite a workout today. The Liberator will come up. There are actually only two Marines. If he can kill the two Marines, this Liberator will go uncontested, and he will free his main base from a lot of the units of Nichols here. The Marauders getting blown away by the Concord cannons. Another tank moving forward. It looks like Lieutenant Boz once again will hold on. Not by much, but by enough. Another... Ooh, two Liberators are actually coming up. There's no real answer. I guess there is one Viking 
chasing these down the liberators uh, looking for an opportunity the SCVs stand idle as they don't know where is safe and where is danger the tank will be taken out as he finds he kind of incidentally finds another base here the liberator not sieging up yet more SCVs have gone down that makes 31 so plot so far rather will the liberators actually kill the liberator in two well this is a weird fight <coughs> It looks like Nichols will bring more freedom to the Liberator than... Oh, but the repair! The save! And that will make all the difference as they continue to pillow fight with their missiles. Nichols has expanded. He does have 23 SCVs against 26. 34 have gone down so far. That is a, plan a planetary build during all of this. That took so long. A planetary finished building... And is now attacking the siege tank and will qu will kill it. Um, so, it does seem like we're in a two base versus two base scenario. As it's 62 supply here for Nichols. And a 45 for Lieutenant Buss. Uh, who has somehow managed to be... He literally has no depots. He has zero depots. He's building his first depots as he's lost every... His only supply is in command centers. So, um... That it, it's been it's been quite a ride. Let's put it that way. It's been a roller coaster, uh, for better or for possibly much worse. As Nichols is continuing to build, well, he's building an armory. Um, be I, well, anyways, and expanding to uh, somehow the the worker counts are dead even here. Uh, Lieutenant Boz is slowly but surely working his way up. A planetary is on the way. Nichols deciding instead of expanding to the safe low ground, uh, instead he will expand forward. Uh, that's a very bold statement there out of Nichols. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Nichols is more a man of action than of uh, thought or logic or basic critical thinking. Um, action. Feeling. All right. That's what's important. Passion. Destruction. All right. Patriotism. Hoorah. But the TPM has raised. There are Vikings. This could be a death trap as he goes directly in towards the main. The Vikings can be able to gun some of this down. Does he have high side auto tracking? Down goes one medevac. No, not quite yet. But here are the Marines. One goes down. The second one going to fall. But the unload will occur. He's going to lose most of his medevacs. The Liberator not quite sieging up yet. It's in a good position. The Marines decide to get distracted at that exact moment. Possibly the worst time they could ever get distracted. It will take out the tanks. So the anti-micro there coming out of both sides. But it looks like Lieutenant Boz will hold on. And suddenly Nichols, where once he was up 20, 25 supply. He's now down by 10. And Lieutenant Boz, if he could figure out how to spend his money, if he could scale up his infrastructure, he would have a massive bank to spend he has fuck you money right now all right he has bugatti money he has owning bugatti money not a bugatti the company bugatti i'm not i'm not sure who actually owns the company bugatti i can only assume uh some italian douchebag or something along those lines or mark zuckerberg i, I take either of the two so if you look at the supply uh it's almost dead even surprisingly after this entire exchange the tpm um, well, uh, is, is continuing to raise. Unfortunately, it's only one or two SCVs being enlisted in this. Uh, so woefully underemployed are the, uh, turret creators here, but they don't really have the, the capital to invest in more employees, apparently. So that is unfortunate. But he's got three turrets on the way. We're 14 minutes in. The TPM, of course, still quite low uh, because of the exchanges that have happened so far. This sensor tower and a very... <clears throat> I mean, I gotta say, that sensor tower is just covering almost everything, right? It, it's covering this ramp. It's covering this ramp. It's covering this area. What a beautiful sensor tower placement. I would argue that was almost by accident. <laughs> But now he's covering... Nichols is going up to three bases. He's getting plus two attack. Does he have plus one armor? Of course he does. On the other side, we have zero upgrades, but he is building them. 
There is uh, ship weapons level 1. Infantry weapons level 1. More turrets are on the way. Alright, alright. Mm. Well, he does not like being dropped. Okay, so he's made sure that th this SCV will always have work to do. Let's put it that way. And honestly, it looks like it's going to pan out. He doesn't have high psych auto-tracking, but I feel like having 17 turrets in your base will probably help out Nichols. Um, finding out the hard way that the turret rings have been... Okay, there we go. But Lieutenant Bell is adapting to his opponent. Slowly but surely, Nichols is going to siege forward, though. There is a Thor on the way here from Mr. Boss. The tank's still in the main. The turret's still being built. <clears throat> he is ahead in supply, but 20 of that is in workers, so the army supply is nearly dead even. There's a lot of Vikings. He really doesn't like medevacs. I think after three times being dropped, he's decided he's had enough. All right, he, he's, he's putting out the equivalent of a cease and desist here, uh, but Nichols doesn't seem to be either ceasing or desisting. Uh, as he's sieging up the planetary, the planetary could be repaired. He doesn't quite have vision without these air units. I don't, I, that, well, why would you ever think that's a good idea? I don't. <clears throat> so the uh, suicide pact agreed to by the medevacs has been executed. Uh, they committed Sudoku together um, onto the Vikings. Of course, an honorable, honorable death. And now Nichols is down to 72 supply. Lieutenant Boz has money in the bank, and once again, his infrastructure is uh, quite lacking. He doesn't have any army hockeys. Let's see what Nichols has. He has no army hockeys either. So it uh, looks like we got some select all, army ha yeah, select all army action coming out from the other side. But, so Nichols has been consistently aggressive, but... Lieutenant Boz has been consistently defensive, and while he might have some sort of supply advantage now, uh, he doesn't seem very eager to capitalize on the situation. Instead, he's decided to take every base on his side of the map, which are now fully loaded out with planetary fortresses. So we'll see if Nichols continues to throw himself upon confirmed. the sword. Thank you, XP. Welcome reeling. back. Thanks. As uh, they're both rocking out. Actually, Nichols is up to 128 APM, which is impressive considering how little the amount of actions he put into controlling his medevacs into Vikings were. So, uh, I think really it's less about APM and more about TPM and MLPM. Um, and MLPM, for those who don't know, of course, is medevacs lost per minute. Um, the more important statistics. The Viking hit squads... I, I don't, there are scans, and I'm not sure who's scanning who. There's scans everywhere right now. Um, so we're, we're obviously running an office depot. But that's, that's actually what, um, is this a good idea, though? Is that, is that really what you, those Vikings may be a little bit optimistic. The, uh, Marines, possibly, I, I don't have a problem, all right? Not really recognizing their addiction. Um, so... They will be hurting themselves, really, in the long run. Um, hopefully they can get some help. Unfortunately, the medevacs uh, overtaxed as it is. As more medevacs have gone down. All right, so some uh, quite a layout here of defenses. The TPM continues to raise. There is a fusion core. Nichols is building a strong army. He's building a more active army. Uh, Medivac's using all their energy to reheal this bio army. Let's see if he can hold off the double stimming. All right. You don't want to overdose. Uh, overdose very much so can mean death in this situation. Lieutenant Boz is spread quite thinly. He's got a lot of territory, but he can't really commit his defenses to it. Because he just has the entire side of the map right now. So that just can't necessarily pan out. 2-1 against the 3-2 upgrades. Nichols has incredible upgrades. The army supplies 104 to 79. So while Lieutenant Boz has a lot of defenses, his his standing army is not standing very tall. The planetary not being repaired. 
Will he repair? No, he'll, he'll evacuate the base. Acceptable losses. A full stim. And another stim. Wait, was that another stim? No, it was just one stim. No, it was a double stim. Never mind, I take it back. The last one was a triple stim. Um, so we'll have to see another scan. Got to make sure you get that double scan here so you can see them extra hard. The tanks are moving forward. The Vikings give vision. There are no medevacs here for Lieutenant Buzz, so he doesn't... When it comes down to it, his army is just not very strong. He has a Thor, 40 Marines. Oh, well, he had a Thor. He still does for now. But Nichols has that Marine tank. He knows how strong it is. The medevacs very heavily taxed with all these stims going down in the, the single liberator. There's actually no tanks there. And that Thor, um, collateral damage, I incredibly dangerous. Oh, he stims. He stims again. Uh, he stims again. You got to stop. You got to stop. I told you it would be the end of you. The triple stim, unfortunately, jumping the gun and then continuing to jump the gun. All right. Uh, so you got you to lay off that. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Lieutenant Buzz, while he didn't have medevacs, of course, he had Marines that uh, were completely sober, thankfully for him. He does not even have stim packs, so honestly, that might be better for him as time goes on here. The standoff continues. Yes, those units are still there, believe it or not as this point of contention continues to be one. There's a weapon refit for Yamato Cannon. There's a siege tank beautifully walled off in between the turret and the fusion core. I don't. How did he even get back there? Did it actually just spawn? Okay, why not? We've got the casual three-tank flank. The three-tank flank is the most dangerous and dank of all the possible tank flanks that he could thank himself. Four, uh, there's a stim. All right, he held off. He only st he stims again. Another stim. You gotta stop. You're stimming, but you're definitely not gonna be witty if you keep this up. And no, no, why, why, no, no, no. Of all the ways, of all the ways to do this. Oh my God, Jesus! I why you masochist? You this is worse. This is worse than I thought it could get any worse. I don't... Once again... I, well, it looks like both sides want to participate. Uh, blood for the blood god. I don't... Oh, looks like he's an expert Sudoku player. Alright, as Nichols continues to poke and prod and try to crack the defenses of course um not so successful so far lieutenant boz putting up quite a strong fight um unfortunately most of that fight is actually put up by nichols himself against himself i i think we can argue that nichols greatest enemy is indeed himself and also drugs don't do drugs no more dr just i would say the best thing i could recommend for nichols is just don't research stim anymore just no more stim. Just don't even research it. Uh, and maybe we'll see what happens. But Lieutenant Boz has mined out of three of his bases. He's only got one fresh base, but he's got money in the tank here. Um, still no combat shields. Uh, we can't really afford that sort of upgrade, okay? Um, that's that's unreasonable. Instead, we're going to invest in battle cruisers. We got to get the newest, the biggest, and the best advanced weapons. No combat shields for the fucking plebs over here. That's where are we going to find that kind of budget? All right. Uh, Nichols now making, I believe I just saw six medevacs at a time. Uh, he had six medevacs at a time, so he's doing his best to repeat the mistakes of the past. Is he going to move forward or is he going to move back? Don't you dare load those all up into medevacs. Don't you fucking dare. Don't do it. All right. He's he's taking an alternative path. He's learned his lesson. 
I don't know where the, he's stimming, I mean, he's not stimming, but he's moving forward. He's going to redirect his forces. There are a couple tanks up here. There are bunkers. They're not full, but there are bunkers. And it appears he's not going to load up and he's not going to stim. The tanks will help. Will he stim? There's one. All right. There's another one. You got to stop. The planetary. He stims again. He's trying to move up. For he stims again. No, you got to stop. He doesn't repair in time, though. He will take out the planetary. The quadra stim, but there just weren't the defenses there. The battlecruiser count is being grown. How many battlecruisers are there? Two battlecruisers. Well, he did take out the base. The medevacs uh, getting their overtime pay. What? And the jump! He jumps. You don't actually need vision, but he jumps in. Will Nichols stim back to defend? The tactical backstab. The battlecruisers have 322 two upgrades. Where the fuck did that come from? The marines have 33. Three. But the battlecruisers are actually incredibly well upgraded. The most tactical of tactical jumps. This is actually going to do a lot of work. There are six Vikings on the way at once, but what kind of upgrades does he have on the air? Zero, zero. Nichols. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Nichols, no! 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 <laughs> He's going into the vein! <laughs> Under the turrets! Okay, actually, you know what? It This might... No, well... I take it all back. It does look like the battlecruisers are still doing work. He, he actually found an angle. The battlecruisers are holding on quite well. The Vikings come to clean up whatever medevacs are left. He stims, he stims again! He stims again! Lay off and put down the needle! Not again! He's stimming, but he's definitely not winning. Put it down. <laughs> this Viking, the the Selecto Army Hockey was mashed here by Lieutenant Boz. Oh, this Viking, this is an interesting situation. Looks like he's retreated. There's still two siege tanks in the base. He, he needs these battle cruisers. He jumps. He jumps. He will be able to take out the tanks. Well, there goes another. The ML... No, not, don't do it again. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, that wasn't ideal. Nichols realizing now at 39 supply, maybe he's gone too far. Oh, tactical jump once again! <laughs> the battle cruiser. Slowly but surely chipping away. Another stim. And he holds off, and that means he will actually take out the cruiser. He still has money in the bank. He still has this planetary. He still has 16 SCVs. And he actually... The income is zero for Lieutenant Boz right now. He has zero income. So that's that's something. A lot of his units are still at home. If he brought the tanks up, obviously he could obliterate this, but... Don't you dare. Don't do it. No, he can't even fight that one battlecruiser. Don't... Oh, my God. There's one. The battlecruiser's running. It jumps. And Nichols will live to fight another day. All right. The battlecruiser count is now at two. He's got 12 marines and 8 tanks. Those 8 tanks are obviously the difference maker. There are more medevacs on the way. Nichols realizing the situation. I, I, I don't think you can afford another starport, Nichols, but you do you, boo. <clears throat> Who am I to criticize? Battle cruisers are pretty badly bruised. Lieutenant Boz is out of money, by the way. Despite all the trials and all the tribulations that we've gone through. Will Nichols actually, with his income and with his Marines, have enough? Well, Lieutenant Boz is back to mining. His income is going to skyrocket here in a moment. He still has 34 SCVs, which is plenty. Now, this is a make or break with the tanks. At the watchtower there. Nichols has been very aggressive. Four medevacs at a time on the way. He's lifting his main. The supplies are starting to even out once again. 
It does seem Lieutenant Boz is back to work. He's building a few Marines at a time, but they, they now do have combat shields. So he's gone with the 25-minute combat shield build, which is uh, very original. The orbital is slowly but surely lifting to one of the only bases that has not been mined out on this map. And Nichols has almost evened up the supply. The fusion core is being rebuilt. The battlecruisers of the fleet is still intact. Nichols holds on. He's continuing to build marines. He's built a lot of medevacs here. He has a sensor tower as well. He's got coverage over almost everything. Lieutenant Boz is starting to mine out of minerals. He still has... This is a pretty fresh base over here. It's quite fresh. Minty fresh, even. I'm not sure what these SCVs are doing. They're scouting for bases. Not a bad move. This should trigger a move out of Nichols in general. Resubscription confirmed. Bottom Thank you, Risky B. Thanks. Good times. What a commentary. What's like, what's like all the Marines in Battlecruiser... Oh, he's splitting his army. Where will Nichols go? He has to make a play. He will make a play, won't he? No, oh my god. He loads up, and uh, a disciple of the YOLO god Maru will bring all of his medevacs to bear on one of the exposed bases. And there are no tanks here to contest. What a reaction time there by Lieutenant Boz. His tanks are not moving. That base will go down. He stamps to kill the refineries. He's loaded back up into the medevacs. He's playing a dangerous game right now. Where is he going next? Is he going to change directions? Where, where is that? Who's scanning who right now? Just depleted a mineral cluster. He will redirect those medevacs towards the only This could be the final act of Sudoku. Oh my god. There are marines. There are battle cruisers. Hmm. So, uh... Could have gone better there for Nichols. I, I, could have gone better. And not with a bang so much as a continued loss of as many medevacs as possible. Nichols is dropping to 15 supply. Lieutenant Boz has held on against the incessant drops. He's put up an umbrella. And it does now seem like Nichols is going to be forced to tap out. We've got some more battle cruisers warping in. Nichols will leave the game like he left his medevacs to die on so many occasions. And I think the summary here is don't do drugs, kids. Ah. <sighs> I do appreciate how Lieutenant Boz stays in this game for another minute or two as well. In the units lost tab, there's quite a disparity. Let's see how long he stays in the game just killing all the buildings. Does he actually go kill all the buildings, really? He's taking his victory lap. There you go. Well, that was... Uh, that was something.